doing, sir? What's up, Jason? How you doing? I'm good, buddy. Good to see you. Um, you know, I guess we'll start with basic offseason stuff. I know a big part of your focus, you wanted to work on, you know, strength, uh, stuff like that. How how did you go about that? And, and uh, how do you feel about the results? Yeah, I mean, there's not really like a secret recipe or anything. Uh, I just got in here and uh, I've been working really hard. Uh, you know, from the last time I talked to you guys to now, um, I just been in the gym, been in the weight room, you know, every day, uh, just working on my body, working on my game, working on everything. Uh, you know, I really spent a lot of time in the gym this summer, um, and it's paid dividends. So, uh, I love where I'm at right now. Um, you know, on the strength aspect as well as, you know, in, in my game and I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, going into year two. If I could follow up on that, where, where are you noticing that like in your game and just, you know, are you feeling kind of that strength and, and how you might be able to use that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, we just get, we, you know, we get to go against each other every day, you know, get to play against each other, uh, you know, whether that's here, you know, when we, we're in L.A. Or, or wherever that is with with other guys and, uh, you know, being able to see it in kind of that environment. Uh, you know, shows me that it's working. So, you know, as we keep playing, keep playing, doing more five on five stuff, doing more, you know, game like activities, uh, it's easier to see. So um, just being able to kind of see it in live action has really helped me. Go to Matt George. Hey, Tyrese, good to talk to you. Hope you had a good uh, off season. Um, yeah. I wanted to, uh, we heard from Luke Walton a couple of months ago, and he talked about um, assigning uh, defensive drills and, and working on defense and how the individual work on defense was going to be a primary focus uh, for your team throughout the off season. Within what you can reveal, can you share some of the stuff that specifically he asked you or, or some of your teammates to work on defensively and how you've put in that defensive work? Uh, I think just sprinkling in things defensively throughout workouts, you know, like taking – you know, the uh, end of my workouts or the start of my workouts or during my workouts to do little things defensively, uh, whether that's rotations or, you know, just guarding the ball one-on-one, -on -one. you know, implementing little things like that, I think has helped me a lot. Um, you know, I think it's helping our team a lot as well as we, as we get, you know, as more guys start coming in, we got more guys here um, to where we're able to do some stuff. You know, it, it's, it's, it's little things that, you know, every day to build habits. And then as we go into training camp and have, you know, everybody here, those little things that we've been doing and working on are just going to, uh, you know, flow right in, right into each other. So uh, just doing little things, you know, during our workouts, I think has helped, helped us. And uh, obviously, you know, when you get in the gym, you're working on your game, working on, you know, mainly the offensive side of the basketball, but them being, uh, you know, our staff has done a great job of, uh, you know, helping us implement things defensively, uh, you know, that, that that's going to pay dividends moving forward. Our new game analyst, Katie Hunter. Hey there, Tyrese. I was curious the difference, the primary differences you've seen between the last offseason coming in as a rookie and this year. Obviously, it was different with the season when it started, COVID, all of that. Um, what has been the biggest difference and how has this offseason maybe been, you know, a little bit easier given some of the things lifted? Um, you know, I would just say last year was a lot of uncertainty. Uh, I was kind of just like thrown into everything. You know what I'm saying? I got to Sacramento, uh, had a couple negative COVID tests. Next thing I know, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one workouts with Rico. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a lot more structured now, uh, you know, to where as I know what to expect on a daily basis. Um, you know, I'm here with my teammates, guys that I know, and I'm able to interact with those guys and just keep building relationships, obviously, you know, with Davion here, but, um, and, and Nimi and being rookies, but, you know, as, as well as, you know, new guys that are coming in, you know, being in LA with Tristan and, and a Langan here and, um, you know, just new guys, new guys coming in that I'm able to, you know, create relationships with. So I, I'd say that's the biggest part is, uh, I have that ability to do so before we're flying on planes and going to a preseason game already. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to, you know, build that relationship right away. So I would say that's probably the, the biggest difference for me. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll go to Sean Cunningham. What's up, sir? What up, what up? Um, actually, I wanted to start actually seeing you last Friday night. Uh, just how cool that what that is experienced to be up at Folsom, see that atmosphere. What would you make of it? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a little different uh, than being back home. Uh, you know, they got a DJ in the student section and stuff. And uh, it's just a, a, a crazy good atmosphere, but it's fun. You know, it's just finding things to do in Sacramento, being able to connect with 
um, you know, fans and people as, as, as things get lifted a little bit. Um, so it was, a, it was a fun experience. I plan to, I plan to get back for the De La Salle game. So, uh, you know, it was awesome. I appreciate, you know, Folsom High uh, welcoming, welcoming me in and, uh, you know, helping make that, that process easy for me. Cool. And, and, and just, you know, for you already having a, a year with Aaron Fox, since we're going to talk to him uh, in a few minutes anyway, I was just curious what your takeaways are. You see a lot of uh, differences since the first time maybe you went up against him in a practice from last year. Yeah, I keep messing with him because uh, I when, when he texted me and asked me what my weight was, and I told him I was up 10 pounds. He called me fat. And then he's out here in these pictures, and it looks like he's the Hulk or something. So I, I tell him he's fat. So we just mess mess around that way. But, man, he looks he looks good. He looks like he's, uh, he looks stronger. I don't think people realize how strong he is already, but I don't. he got stronger, it looks like. Um, but no, I'm looking forward to, you know, kind of getting into camp here, uh, being able to, you know, do some more stuff with them, uh, you know, as, as, as we move forward and, you know, just keep growing our relationship. I think, you know, we've gotten closer, um, you know, through the off season where, you know, we weren't with each other all the time. So it's, you know, texting, FaceTiming, calling each other, uh, checking on each other, uh, just, you know, holding each other accountable. I think that's big for us too. So, um, you know, I think our relationship's growing and, you know, now as we're together more, um, you know, keep growing in our synergy and uh, how we play together and everything like that. Tony Harvey. Hey, Mr. Halliburton, how you doing? I'm good, my man. How you doing? Doing good, doing good. Trying to stay cool. Well, at least it has been cool these few days. You know, us Midwesterner people had to get adjusted to this, and I'm pretty sure you have with all these 100-degree days. But anyway, it's good to see you. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, you, you, you talk about the personnel that's coming in. At least my emphasis is with the guards, uh, you know, with Buddy, of course, De'Aaron, you, and with Davian Mitchell in the mix. How do you see that, you know, working into a a winning formula? Yeah, you know, I think us being able to go against each other in training camp uh, and challenge each other every day, I was going to help a lot. Um, you know, I think iron sharpens iron. So uh, being able to challenge each other every day and get after each other, I think, is, is going to help us. But, you know, I think that, you know, there's multiple different, you know, combos out of the guard lineup. We could play two. We could play three. You could, like you said, there's me, De'Aaron, Davion, Buddy, TD, um, you know, we're, we got, we got, we got a lot of guards. So, um, you know, just figuring each other out, keep growing, uh, in, you know, in our relationships uh, to where, you know, we're able to communicate effectively, communicate the right way. Um, and that's just going to help us grow on the court. But, you know, I think as we get into training camp, you know, as we're all here uh, with each other, it's really going to help us because, uh, you know, we're playing with each other against each other, seeing what we like, what we don't like. You know, I think that's the best way to figure out relationships and figure out how you're going to work together on the, on the court is just, you know, playing with each other against each other, just knowing tendencies and things like that. Yeah, what are your uh, professional thoughts about Davian so far? He helped lead that uh, that squad to a summer league championship in uh, Vegas. But what's your thoughts about him thus far? I'm off the air. Yeah, uh, about Davion, right? Is what you're talking about? Davion, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I uh, knew a lot about him, a lot about him coming in. You know, because of playing against each other in college, all that stuff. Um, but you know, I think my biggest takeaway is just how hard he works. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen the article or read or whatever that is that they had to tell me can't be in here. <laughs> uh, but he really is in here all the time. He's in here. Uh, you know, he lives here, it seems like. Um, and, and that's a great trait to have. And, um, you know, I think he just he works so hard that it's no surprise why he's where he is and has had the success he's had in his basketball career. Um, so that's kind of like refreshing for me to see, um, you know, see a guy working like that. And it makes me work harder. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that everybody sees that and it works that way for everybody. Um, so, you know, it's cool. It's cool to see. And, and again, that's just another guy. Like I keep, I, I know I, I keep saying the same word over and over, but I think that's the most important thing uh, when it, in, in sports is just relationships. So keep going, you know, knowing each other the right way, um, you know, playing, uh, playing 2K together, whatever the case may be, we're just growing in, in, in our relationships. And, um, you know, I think that's going to you know, help us be successful. And, I, and I, what I do like about him is, um, you know, he asks a lot of questions. I'm, I'm very similar. I ask questions all the time. And I think he does the same thing where, you know, he's not afraid to go to anybody and ask a question. And, uh, you know, I think we're getting to the point where I can tell him something when I'm seeing him do something, he can tell me. So, uh, again, I think that's just going to help us be more successful. 
I'll go back to Jason Anderson. Ty, the, um, this year, you know, you know the history. It's a 15-year playoff drought. The longest ever is 16. You guys are, are, you know, in danger of tying that if things don't go well this year. What? How much of a burden is that? I mean, it, obviously, it's been a burden on the fans for a very long time here and people in the organization. But as players, like, how much do you feel that and how much does it drive you to kind of break that cycle? Um, I, I mean, to, if I'm being, like, completely brutally honest, uh, like, I don't think anybody or – any statistic, any record can put more pressure on um, myself than what I put on myself, if that makes sense. Um, you know, I have uh, like a standard that, you know, I want to uphold in in my athletic ability. I want to win. You know, that's been my thing is, you know, I, I want to be a winning basketball player. And I think everybody agrees with that. They want to win as well. Um, you know, I think the pressure is more so from ourselves because, the accountability that we have within each other that we want to be, you know, successful. Um, you know, I don't think it's uh, anything of tying the longest record or anything like that. I didn't even know that until you just said that. Um, obviously, you know, we want to allow, you know, our fans to make the playoffs. We want to bring the Kings back to the playoffs. It's obviously the biggest goal, but I don't think anybody, you know, wants that, you know, more than us, you know, we're the ones out there, um, you know, playing so hard and, uh, you know, working every day to do that. And obviously, you know, we'd love to to do that for the city of Sacramento and for the fans. Um, but I do know that, you know, guys are holding themselves accountable to where, um, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to change it. And, you know, that's what I've said from the day that I got drafted here is that I wanted to get his team to the playoffs and, you know, help to help change the culture. And that's what we're working to do every day. Okay. Uh, good answer. If I could ask you one more uh, while I've got you, um, the games are going to be officiated a little bit differently this year. Competition committee felt players were gaining an advantage, you know, using like unnatural motions to draw fouls. How do you feel about the change and, and how do you think it'll impact the game? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see when we get into games. Uh, you know, you can say what you want, but it's different in live action. Um, you know, the, the great players, are, you know, they find a way to, you know, figure it out, you know, whatever that that, that may be. So I can get to the free throw line and uh, get some rhythm shots. So, you know, we'll see how it's officiated. I'm not – I don't know if I'm buying all that, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see when we get into it. All right, a couple more. Go to Katie. Tyrese, other than kind of the focus of being in the weight room and just kind of, you know, adding from a physical standpoint to your stature, what were the primary kind of focuses and goals for you that you were looking at during the off season and where have you made the most strides? Um, you know, I would just say uh, handling the ball. Um, he has to do a lot more this year. Um, more than likely, I've probably moved up in uh in scout reports uh from last season so just being ready to take that that challenge i'm probably gonna you know draw better defenders as i was you know towards the end of last year so just being ready for that from the jump um but i, I think it's a lot of different things i think my main thing is you know outside of handling the ball finishing with both hands uh making shots i think you know my biggest thing is just getting to the free throw line more uh you know figuring out how to use my body the right way uh, i think i probably got to the free throw line less than one time a game uh, you know, in my, in my rookie season. And that's kind of been the, the, the knock on me, you know, in college as well. So, um, you know, I, I think just getting to the free throw line more is going to allow so many things to open up. Uh, so, you know, that's definitely a point of emphasis for me. Um, but I, I would say that's probably the biggest thing outside of, you know, every, every part of the game, but yeah, just putting a, a conscious effort on getting to the free throw line more and uh, figuring out how to use my body the right way. All right. Uh, Matt George. Ty, I don't know if you were asked about this. Um, you finally got to experience a Golden One Center atmosphere uh, at the California Classic. Haven't really gotten to experience it yet as a player. What was your takeaway from that atmosphere for it just being a summer league game and, and how much are you looking forward to playing in front of that this season? Yeah, uh, I, um, I'm really excited about it. Um, I kept telling uh, you know, my girlfriend and the people around me, like, I need this, I need this in my life. <laughs> uh, I miss, you know, kind of that, that entertainment factor of the game of basketball. Um, and, you know, I see so many fans, uh, in golden one and even the passion they had for, you know, a summer league game. Uh, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when we get the regular season started. So, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. Uh, it's something I, I can't wait. Um, to do, you know, to be honest with you. And I know that I know how passionate, you know, Kings fans are, but I, I, 
I still think that I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I haven't, I haven't been in it. I haven't been on the court to experience it. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that experience. 